On December 7, 1941, Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor had launched the war in the Pacific. Now, three and a half years later, the Japanese have seen the tide of battle turn against them. The Americans have leapfrogged across the Pacific, sweeping the Japanese before them. Japan's imperial fleet has been neutralized, its air force overpowered. From the island air bases they now control, the Americans' B-29 flying fortresses are able to strike at the Japanese home islands. A systematic firebombing campaign is launched against cities and industrial centers. It is the most devastating attack against civilian targets ever carried out. Meanwhile, in America, Robert Oppenheimer and other scientists have spent three years working in secrecy to develop a new type of bomb. They have at last succeeded. But their achievement is not yet known to the world, and certainly not to the citizens of Hiroshima in the summer of 1945. I'm still hungry. I am too. We've work to do first. Father, is this meat almost ready for harvesting? I can't wait. I'm going to eat so much bread. Bread and bread and bread until I noodles. throw up. I'm going to eat noodles till I burst. <laughs> Gem. Huh? Shinji. Yup. Look at it, boys. Its life begins in the coldest season of the year. The rain pounds it, the wind blows it, it's crushed beneath people's feet, but still the wheat spreads its roots and grows. It survives. So let the wheat be an example to you, my boys. Right? We're sick of that dumb old story. Ah, uh, sick of it, are you? <laughs> Come back here, you little hooligans. You're not getting off that easy. <laughs> yeah. けそこの胸の時めきがあまりにも広すぎる青空は揺らめくこの想い夏の日を見てると直してくる裸足で走り出す足元をくぐって風が吹いてゆく愛がどこにあるものか誰か教えてはくれないかそんな思いは募り思いは溢れ you do my mother and me great honor by coming here and wishing me well in my service to the Emperor. Go and fight bravely, Oyama! Banzai! 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 Oh, I'm hungry. Me too. 
I'm so hungry, I'm dizzy. Me too. I can eat a whole goat. Yeah, me too. If you've got a ration stamp, today's your lucky day. This soup's so thick, you can stand your chopsticks up in it. There's rice. Oh, look at that. There hasn't been this much rice around for weeks. <laughs> Hey! Uh, uh, Father, can we have some soup, too? <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. Not today. There's no more ration stamps. We just have to We're be hungry. patient. We're starving! Get out of my way! Just what makes you think you can cut in line? You wait your turn or I'll... What? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, Father. Grown men fighting over a bowl of soup. If they're gonna fight, it should be over some fish. <laughs> Mother! We're back! We're all sus. <laughs> What's to eat? I'm starving! There might be something. Hmm. Let's see. You were hiding something up there, weren't you? Sweet potato. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Shinji. Aren't you gonna share it? <laughs> no, it's hey, mine. Come back here. It's not yours. <laughs> no, you'll just eat it all. Give me it. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, no. Shinji! No! Who do you think you no, are? You Get away! Want... Come <laughs> here. <laughs> well, that doesn't stop. <laughs> Stay we're supposed to share, and you know it! Don't you dare! Give it to me! You're gonna get it! You're such a little brat! for mother. What do you mean for her? Why'd she give it to us then? Oh, she was just being nice. You know mother needs to be strong for the baby that's coming. So if you eat this potato, the baby will die. Now, do you both still say you want it? Eiko. Huh? Go on. It's all right, dear. Let your brothers have it. But mother, it's not fair. The baby needs it more than they do. Here, you take it. <clears throat> Please, eat it for the baby. Oh, now stop it, you two! <clears throat> Come on, you'll get something later. You know, dear, it's a terrible thing having to watch your children go hungry. <sighs> and what's worse, nowadays there's hardly any food to be bought, even if we had the money. We'll just have to be patient, that's all. <gasps> oh. Huh? Don't worry, it's just our baby moving around in there. It tickled me. What, again? You know what that means, don't you? It's strong, a healthy one. It's a healthy one, all. Ooh, <laughs> it's got spirit. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What are you laughing at? The baby's moving. It wants to come out. It's moving? <laughs> How? It hasn't been born yet. <laughs> <laughs> It's moving! <laughs> That's funny. You know what? I think it must be a boy. You can never tell until it's born. Well, I can't wait! Oh, you just want another little brother to boss around. Huh? Well, you can't have this one, Ken, because if he's a boy, he's going to be my little brother. So I suppose you'll boss him around, and I'd hate to think what you'll teach him. <laughs> It'd frighten me half to death. Ha! See? You'd be a bad example for the baby. Uh. It isn't fair! <laughs> I didn't mean it. Huh? I was only joking. <laughs> You're a good boy, Shinji. I know you'll be a good brother to the baby. When's he coming? Hmm? Come on out, little brother. Hurry up! <laughs>
Wake up, children. Avengers, air raid! Get your shelters at once! Air raid! To your shelters! Everyone in the shelter. Aiko, bring your brothers now. Oh, no. Come on, Yen. We gotta go. Wake Shinji up. Come on! Shinji, come on! Ooh. Just leave him to me, Aiko. I'll wake him up. Oh, Shinji. Wow! Right, Shinji? Look at it all. And see? Where? Noodles, lots of them. Real noodles? Hey, what's going on? This bowl's empty. You ate them all. <laughs> We're supposed yeah. to share. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. going on here? <laughs> Don't know. Let's go, quickly! <laughs> Suppose you want one to land on your head, is that Ow. what you want? It's just another spy plane. They never drop bombs on us, we're too boring. How can you say that? Have you forgotten the child from the 400 block who was shot? Nagoya, Osaka, even Okinawa. All of Japan is in danger. If it doesn't end soon, our country will become a wasteland. This is no time for games. It's serious, Gen. I won't have you making light of it. There's one thing that bothers me. It's like you said, every major city around us has been bombed over and over again, but never Hiroshima. Turn to your homes! See, I knew it was just another spy plane. Another false alarm. All safe and so... <gasps> oh, Mother! Are you all right? Is it the baby? Kimie, what's wrong? Oh, just a little dizzy. <gasps> Kimie. Mother! Boys, go and fetch the doctor. Right. Eiko, make up the bed. Yes, Father. Oh. Kimie, hang on. It won't be long. The doctor should be coming in no time. Again? Hey, hey, again! Is Mother really gonna die? Oh, no! Mother's dying! Is she, 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 shut up! I swear Mother's not going to die. Slow down, boys. Slow down. I'll die of a heart attack before we get there. You should have thought of that before you got so fat. Our mother's sick, and if you don't make her better, you'll be sorry. Will she be all right? She's suffering from severe malnutrition. There's nothing I can do. If she gets plenty to eat, her strength will return, and she should be fine. Of course, that's easier said than done. It seems we don't have enough food or medicine for anybody. I'm sorry. This is serious. We've got to do something. It's really serious. We've really got to do something.
What is it, Eiko? What's the matter? It's just that the last of the rice is gone, Father. And we have no money to buy any more. Don't worry, something will come along. We'll find the money. We just have to keep at it and finish our work. Then maybe we'll get paid what we're owed. Eiko, you mustn't overdo it. You're not very strong. Oh, I'm all right. I'm sure. Anybody ever eaten a worm? Eaten a worm? Yeah, like this caterpillar. I don't know why. If they won't make you sick, then mother could eat them. Hmm. Ah! Idiot! Oof. Good morning, boys. I heard noises last night. Hi, Mr. Pat. Everything all right? Has the baby come? Our mother's sick. The doctor, he said she's got malnutrition. That's terrible, and just when she needs all her strength. You know, somebody once told me that carp's blood is the best thing for a woman in her condition. Huh? Carp? Like the fish? Yeah. Oh. Gee, I sure didn't know any of that stuff about carp's blood. You know, if we could just catch one for her, mother would get all better. So let's do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sergeant, Captain, move out, company forward. Tell me why you boys want that blasted carp? It's for our mother, sir. She's going to have a baby, and she's not very well. And our neighbor, Mr. Pack, said carp blood's the only thing that will help. 
Without it, my mother will get worse or even... She could die. Now, you wouldn't want my mother to die, would you? Oh, please. Help. Oh, please save her. <laughs> I'm giving you the damn fish. Now go. You... you mean it? Remember, if you lie, old man, you'll go straight to hell. Honey, I was just about to say the same thing to you two. Then I guess you do <laughs> me to... <laughs> <laughs> You boys stole it. You know what I'll do to you. We didn't. The old man gave it to us. Don't you believe us? We should cook it and give it to Mother. It's the best thing for a woman in her condition. Hurry up and cook it now! Aiko, you heard them. <laughs> Will Mother get better now? Sure she will. At least I hope she will. You two boys shouldn't have to worry about such things. Seems I'll just have to work harder. I'd like to know if we'll ever have enough food. Will we? Huh? Yes, son. When the war is over. Well, but when will it be over? It won't be long. Japan has all but lost the war. Why do we keep on fighting, then, if we've already lost the war? Why? Because our government is run by madmen. Yes, they're just stupid. Crazy. All of them. Father, you shouldn't say stuff like that. They might call you a traitor or something. Coward, traitor, those words mean nothing to me. Actually, come to think of it, I'm proud if they want to call me those things. Uh -huh. This war can't be right. But it's only the cowards like me who dare to say it. If there were only a few more like us. You know, sometimes it takes a lot more courage not to fight than to fight. Do not want to kill when all around you are calling out for blood. That's real courage in my book. And if you boys remember nothing else that I teach you, I hope you'll remember that. All right? Uh, Father. What is it? I just wanted to say I love you, Father. Yeah, I want to say I love you too, Father. I know. Are you sure you don't mind? I should be sharing this with all of you. Don't be silly, Mother. You're not well, and you're eating for two now, don't forget. You're right. Well, how is it? <coughs> mm, it's delicious. <laughs> Hello, Shinji. <laughs> Why the big grin, son? A secret. What did you say to make Mother cry like that? Gee, all I did was ask if I could suck on the fish bones when she was done with them. You're kidding. You asked her that? Yeah, that was it. Idiot! Ow! What was that for? How come you're always hitting me, huh? Hurry up, Shinji. Come on. I'm gonna tell on you. Mother! Eiko. Eiko. Yes, Mr. Pack? Here, I brought a little something for you and your family. Take it. Oh, rice. It isn't much. Mr. Peck. Thank you. We sure did a good job getting that carp, didn't we? 
Yeah, Mother will be all better again in no time. Hello? Everybody home. Never thought that old grouch would come to our house. I bet he's gonna tell Father all about how we tried to steal his carp. And Father will get mad at us, won't he? I had no idea. I'm sorry. The boys will be punished, sir. I can assure you. Oh, no, please. You misunderstand me. I didn't come here for that. I admire the boys. Such high spirits, such devotion to you and their mother. You have good sons there, Nakaoka. I envy you, though I'm sure they're quite a handful of times. <laughs> What'll we do? Well, what do you think? Prepare to get hit. He wouldn't do that, would he? There you are. Well, then? Come in and sit down. Ken? Shinji. Sure never thought I'd be getting a piece of cake out of this. <laughs> hey, we did good, right? Good. That old fish face is not so bad after all. Yeah, I like that old guy. Maybe we ought to let him join our platoon. I might even give him a medal. <laughs> On that day at 2.45 a.m., three American B-29s took off from an airbase on Tinian in the Marianas. Two of them were observation planes. The third was the Enola Gay, named for the captain's mother. Mother, let me do the washing. You're still not well. It's okay. If I rest too long, I'm liable to get lazy. Father, isn't this the greatest boat you ever saw? Ken made it for me. Did he really? The minute he's home from school, we're going to take it to the river. Are you? Won't that be fun? Enemy planes again. It's so early. All clear. The enemy is gone. All clear. The enemy is gone. Gone. I'll bet you it's another spy plane. Well, that's a B-29 vapor trail. Oh, look how clear the sky is. It'll be hot today. Observation plane easily calling in Ola Gay. Calling in Ola Gay. Weather's fair and clear over Hiroshima. You are go for bomb run. Roger, easily. Standing by to drop on target. See you later. You're coming right home after school, because we're going down to the river, right? Right. Promise? I promise. Father, Aiko, you won't believe this. What is it? Good heavens. Look at all the ants. Where are they coming from? I've never seen so many. I wonder why. B-29. Yeah. Gee, and it's all alone. What's it doing? Probably a spy mission. It's very strange. So why isn't the air raid siren going off? I don't know. Three thousand. 
2,600 feet. We've got a fix on the target, sir. Standing by to release payload. Roger. Release the bomb. Releasing bomb. decided to bomb us. <clears throat> what a mess. Ah, hang on, I'm coming! <clears throat> She's dead! Hey! Somebody help! Is anyone here? Where are you? 
sweet boy, you're alive. Hurry, mother. Get us out. Really oh, shit, alive. Hey, go. Father. Hurry, get Help me lift this baby. Help me. Yes, Lord. Hurry up. should be safe here for the moment. Again, I have to go now. Take care of your mother. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> What's the matter, mother? Huh? It's coming now. It's time. The baby? You must try to find a doctor or midwife, Gen. All right. And I'll need to have a basin that holds lots of water and some strips of any clean cloth you're able to find. Right. A pair of scissors and thread. <laughs> What are the scissors for, Mother? Somebody will have to cut the cord. <laughs> Is there a doctor or a midwife around anywhere? Is anyone a doctor? I need a doctor! Listen to me, my mother's having a baby! Doesn't anybody know a doctor? Everything's gone crazy. There's nobody to help me. What'll I do now? What'll I do? I'm sorry. 
sorry, Mother. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find anyone to help at all. Well, we'll do it ourselves. You and me, Mother? But that's impossible. You must try, my boy. All right, I'll try. First of all, fetch some water. Mm. Be sure to have some rags ready again. You'll have to wash the baby once it's born. Oh, oh. I'm ready. Don't worry. Oh, 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 oh. You've got to be very careful about holding up its head. The baby doesn't look like me. I guess it's a girl, Mother, but it really looks more like a little monkey. All babies do. You did too. Oh. Well, I guess you'll turn out to be real pretty then. <laughs> Listen here, baby. I'm the one who brought you to life, so you better thank me when you grow up. And you better do everything I tell you to do. Okay? They're going to need you, boy. It's up to you to look after them now. It's going to be a boy, and he's going to be my little brother. Father, are you there? Eiko! Shinji! The baby's here, everybody! Can you see her? It's a girl! You were wrong, Shinji! It's a girl! <laughs> What's happening? Why? 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 She's the prettiest girl in the whole wide world, and you never got to see her! Ken, give her to me, dear. Let me hold her. Take a good look around, little one. Look closely. You see, this is the war that killed your father. Remember it. What in the world? It's raining. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What the? Why, that's not right. Mother, have you ever seen rain that's black like this? This black rain began falling on the northwest section of the city. The impact of the bomb's blast had sent dust, debris, and radiation high into the atmosphere, where it gathered in a gigantic lethal cloud before returning to the earth as radioactive rain. The bomb that had fallen on the city detonated with the destructive force of 20,000 tons of TNT and generated temperatures in excess of 4,000 degrees. Some 60% of the city had vanished, but the damage did not end there. The people of Hiroshima did not know it yet, but the bomb's after effects, such as the black rain, would bring them many years of suffering. Quiet. How am I supposed to sleep? Oh, perhaps if we took them some water. Here, this is some water. Drink. Go on, there's more where this came from. Not right. Uh, mother, she's dead. I don't understand. Uh, why? What's making them die? They died when they drank. Could something be wrong with the water? We've got to stop them from drinking the water. The fierce craving to quench their thirst was the one overpowering instinct that kept many alive after the blast. But when given water, their thirst quenched at last. Many gave up the struggle and died on the spot. Mother, what are we gonna do? Well, let me see now. 
We've no place to go, really. All our relatives will be dead, or if not, they'll be no better off than we are. Frankly, son, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm finding it difficult to think clearly. There, there, sweet girl. I don't have any milk. That's bad, Mother. Babies need milk to live. We've eaten nothing for three days, and my milk has dried up. When mothers go hungry, their babies go hungry, too. I really must try to find some food. For her sake. You just leave everything to me. What do you mean? What can you do now? It's up to me to see that we have food. Goodbye. Again. Father said it's up to me now. I won't ever let you die. You won't have to worry. I'll protect you. But where am I going to find food around here? <laughs> hey, where'd you get that rice? My mom and baby sister are hungry. There's army trucks distributing food. You haven't seen them? Oh, that's great. Where are they? Ah, oh, forget it. Find them yourself. I got this rice ball down by the bridge. By the bridge? Gee, I know where that is. An army truck, right? Wait! Do you have any more rice? Bodies, nothing else. Get that fire started. We gotta burn them before they rot. <sighs> My God, there's just so many of them. When will it stop? This smells awful. There must be more dead people here than live ones. a fireman's hat. Ugh. Those soldiers are so mean. They're just treating those people like bags of trash. It's almost as if they never lived at all. Maybe this is what hell's like. Look at all these damn maggots. I didn't even notice them. When they start moving around in there, it itches like crazy. Do you think it's all right to eat them? Are you crazy? It's no time to talk about food. Please, can somebody help me? Is there anyone here who can help me feed my baby? She needs milk. She's starving. Oh, please, will you? Please, isn't there anybody who can help me with just a little milk? My baby's starving. Stay quiet. Let it die. It's better off. What? What are you saying? Kill it. Kill it. You're mad to say that? All right, then. I will kill it for you. Give it to me. Give it to me. No, please. Not my baby. Eat now. Take all I have. You still have milk? I can't believe I really said those terrible things. It's just that your baby reminded me of my own. She's dead now over there. I have no one to drink my milk. Your baby is welcome to all I have left. Thank you. You're lucky, my child. So very lucky. Dead. Everything's gone. How come you're shivering when it's so hot? Do you feel sick or something? I'm freezing! Must have caught a chill from the rain. Hey, I think you wet your pants. Shut up, you stupid little brat! What are you talking about? Blood! 
Must have said in something. Hey, somebody cut funny holes in your hair. Listen, kid, I'll put some holes in you if you don't. <sighs> My God, what's happening? <sighs> <sighs> Mister, what's wrong? Do you need some help? What's wrong? Help! Help! I need help! Get up. I got you. Come on up. Up. You know, I don't think this is gonna work. That's a pretty clever stretcher, huh? Hang in there. You'll be fine. Does anybody know where the hospital is? Please, help me. Nurse, tend only to those who show some chance of recovery. Yes, sir. We don't have enough medicine for them, let alone all these others. Hey, somebody should look at this soldier. He's hurt real bad, I think. Uh, another one. <coughs> Young man, do you know if he was vomiting blood or complaining that he was cold? Right. Ah, uh, then I guess that means you know what's wrong then. Uh, no use looking at this one. This soldier's dead. God help us, is it possible that one bomb could have created all this devastation? The initial explosion of the atomic bomb claimed more than 100,000 lives, but that was only the beginning. The radiation remained, contaminating soldiers cleaning up the city, as well as those relatives of the victims who came looking for them. For years afterwards, these people would suffer from leukemia and cancer, part of the collateral damage inflicted by the bomb. must have been some kind of storehouse. What a waste. All this rice for people to eat and it's all been burnt to a crisp. Damn it! too, Mother. You and the baby will never have to go hungry. Ever. Really. Ken, you've done well. Thank you. Seems like you've been busy, too. She's sleeping, huh? Isn't it about time we choose a name for her? I think you're right. Our daughter should have a name. Look across the river. Every day, I see more and more fires. They're burning the dead. There's so many dead out there, Mother. So many. It's just too much. It's horrible. Yes, it is, Ken. Mother? What? I hope she always has friends. Lots and lots of friends. Why don't we call her Tomoko? Yes, that means friend. Very good. Well, that's it then. You're Tomoko. Ken, what's happened to your hair? Those bald spots. What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, no! 
My hair. <laughs> this soldier's dead. God help us, is it possible that one bomb could have created all this devastation? Cal! Don't let it happen to me, Mother! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! There, there, my little one. You're not going to die. Do you hear? You're not going to die! After the bombing of Hiroshima, the United States issued an ultimatum, calling on Japan to surrender and threatening to drop a second atomic bomb if it did not. The Japanese High Command ignored the warning. They made certain the full extent of the damage to Hiroshima was little reported. Three days later, on August 9th, another B-29 appeared in the sky above the city of Nagasaki. High Command was convinced at last. On August 15th, the Emperor Hirohito, in the first public address ever made by a Japanese sovereign, announced that the war was over. に対しその共同宣言を受諾する旨通告せしめたり光と申しんはユンの文句ところ大型機を耐え忍び型機を忍び持って万世のために太平洋社間と保す神はここに国体を誇示得て重量なる難事心 Gen, what is it, Mother? Your father, sister, and brother, they've all been taken away from us, haven't they? That's right. All of them are dead, Mother. <laughs> What's the matter, mister? What are you crying for? The Emperor announced it on the radio just now. Japan has been defeated. We've lost the war. We've surrendered! Tell me why now! Why not before? <gasps> it's all right. Come on, Mother, don't cry. We're gonna be okay, trust me. I've already started planning what to do. And I know the first thing we're gonna need. A house. too. Hand her to me. Come and eat now. If I could only find some work, but it's hopeless. We're in quite a fix. Don't worry, Mother. I'll think of something. What are you doing? Who are you? Hey! Come here, you little thief! I'd beat you to a pulp. So what? Don't you think we're hungry too? <gasps> Mother, look at this boy. Look at his face. Hey, you, show her your face. What are you doing? <gasps> it's Shinji. Mm, whoever Shinji is, I'm not him. You look just like my little brother. I'm not. No, of course you're not. He's dead. My name's Ryuta Kondo. <laughs> And I haven't eaten all week. Then I smelled your food, and I was so hungry that I Where's I just... your family, Ryuta? They were all killed in the explosion. 
You know, you look exactly like my little brother. Shin. Well, I'm not. I'm Ryuta. Here, you can have my rice if you want. You'd give it to me? Go on, take it. You mean I could have all of it? Sure. <laughs> Slow down, you'll make yourself sick. No, th then you might want it back. I won't want it back, honest. Why should I believe you? Just relax. He really looks like Shinji. Where have you lived since the bomb fell, my boy? Out in the open. Somewhere. If you're still hungry, you're welcome to finish mine. Sit down over hmm? here. You, you really mean it? Of course I mean it. <clears throat> ah! <clears throat> Mother, he even behaves like Shinji, see? It is remarkable, Gen. Uh, I've heard it said everyone has five doubles of him or herself. Still, that he should have found us, it's uncanny. Mm. Is there any more? There's nothing in there. <laughs> Somehow it seems like he belongs here. I know what you mean. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, you know, we're having a difficult enough time making ends meet as it is. But still, if Shinji were alive... Oh, it's all right then? Mm. Wow, that was the best. I'm almost not hungry. Ryota. What? We've been thinking, would you like to have a real home again? Yeah, you want to stay here? And live with us? Be part of our family! <laughs> stay and live with you? I won't be much help, I'm only a kid, but... <laughs> I can give you a back rub. Daddy always said I was a good back rubber. That's very kind of you, but you don't have to. We're not asking for anything in return, child. You'll just be one of the family. Really? <laughs> gee, gee, thanks. <laughs> okay, okay, stop it, stop crying. You're going to wake Tomoko in a second if you... Oh. Now we've got two of them, Howard. That's all right. You go right on and cry. Don't worry about oh, her. Your baby looks funny. Is it sick? Yeah, malnutrition. That means she's not getting enough to eat. She needs milk. Hey, I've got an idea. Hey, will anybody give us a job? Anybody got a job for us? Anybody? Any kind Hello. of job at all? Any job at all? Nobody looks the least bit interested. No, Big Brother. Wait a minute, Ryuta. What did you just call me? Big Brother, what's wrong with that? Not a thing. Say it again. Big Brother. Again. Big Brother. But why? Do you like being called that? Yes! You want me to say it some more then? Big Brother! My Big Brother again! Hey, listen everybody, this is my Big Brother! My Big... Idiot! <laughs> you boys, did you mean it when you said you'd take any kind of job? Yep, you've got something? Why, yes, I believe I have, if you lads would like to make ten yen a day. Ten, ten yen? yen? Wait, yeah, you of course bet. we would! Well then, come with me. Is you this your house? Really it's so big! You boys will have to be quiet now. Look, Daddy's found two more boys. They won't last long. <laughs> this is where you will work. Ooh! It really stinks. What's in here? Smells like an outhouse. This place is disgusting. It's full of worms and flies. Is that guy sad? Brother, I've found two more boys to look after you. Ask them to do anything. They're certainly being paid well enough. Wait, Azo. See that he's well taken care of. Come back. Can't we talk for a while? Brother! Ew. <laughs> I knew they'd do that. It won't be long now. They suck him in there till he dies, I guess. Disgusting. <laughs> what should we do about him? Ten yen will buy a lot of milk. Yeah, so... Hey, you buzzards. Does he mean us? Looks that way. Get these maggots off me and clean up around here, now! Yes, sir! Whatever you say. You know, maggots may be white, but to me, they're just filthy little worms. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cleaning up this mess is sure a whole lot of fun. They usually run off by now. Those boys are crazy. Girls. How many times have I told you to stay away from your uncle? You don't want to be infected, do you? My dear, I'm tired of his being here. Seijo should be in a hospital. 
The hospitals are already overflowing with bomb victims like him. With all your money, he'd have the very best of care. You must try not to resent his presence in our home. He's my brother and therefore my responsibility. Oh, you are such a hypocrite. You know you loathe going near him as much as I do. And it's no wonder. He stinks, he looks ghastly, and he's always roaring and shouting like some kind of savage. The neighbors act like we live in a haunted house. At least think of the girls, if nothing else. It will be a blessing for all of us if he dies soon. Huh? <sighs> you idiot! <clears throat> what was that all about? What were you trying to do? Tear my skin off? I try to be careful, but those maggots keep getting stuck to the scabs like they've been glued! I don't want to hear it! You'll just have to be more careful, you little buzzard! Listen here! You think anyone will stop me if I wring his neck? Wait, calm down! Quickly, fetch me that gray book on the desk, buzzard. Why you call me that? My name's Gen. I'm not a buzzard. That's right, my name's Ryuta Kondo. You're just a couple of buzzards living off my rotting flesh. Scavengers, all of you, you're no different from the others. Uh, wait, we really need the 10 yen. Right, allow me. Here you go. Now go get it. Oh my, you dropped it. Bring me some water over here. I'm thirsty. Here's your book. Pick it up. Leave it. We'll never get our 10 yen now. Oh, forget about the 10 yen. It's nowhere near enough. Ugh. Take that! And that! Ugh. You're just a spoiled brat even if you are a grown-up. Now I know why they stuck you out here all by yourself. We're leaving! Yeah, we quit. Wait. Don't go again, Ryuta. Calling us by our names isn't gonna help. It's too late. I'm uh, sorry I hit you. No, no. I'm glad that you did. Come on. You like being slapped around? Huh, that's kind of weird. You want to slap him this time? My pleasure. That's right. That's right. Hit me. I won't mind. Wait a minute. It's not normal to want to be hit. When you've gone without human contact as long as I have, you're grateful for anything, even a slap. It's funny how people change. My brother and his family used to enjoy my company before the bomb did this to me. Now they've all left me out here to die. My only visitors are the people my brother has paid to look after me, and none of them has ever lasted very long. You were the only ones to treat me as something more than a freak or a corpse. You treated me like a human being. And for that, I'm grateful. Ryuta? Yeah, big brother? You go tell mother where I am. And you? I'm gonna stay for a while, okay? I understand. I'll tell her. Bye! Gen? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna run off. Thanks. <laughs> Stop that. Come on now, no more crying. <laughs> The only way you're ever going to get better is to laugh a little. Like, what? <laughs> like this. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the boy's right. I can't just give up. I never thought I'd be able to paint again, but I won't know if I don't try. It's no use. I can't. I can't. You can't quit. You can do it. Yeah, keep trying. Don't give up now. All right, all right. I'll try. Here you go. 100 yen. What? I might almost say that it's a miracle what you've done for my brother. I'm very grateful to you for making him happy again. <laughs> Seriously? My brother said that? He sure did. And he gave us enough money to buy all the milk we'll ever need. Glad to hear it. Will you two come again? Sure, we'll come to check up on you. Remember, never give up. 
Don't worry, I never will. You children have shown me that nothing is impossible. Nothing. Oh, oh sweet, sweet potatoes for breakfast, sweet potatoes for lunch. We eat sweet potatoes, we eat them till we burst. And then, then we fart like a couple of pigs. That's, That's what, what we, we do, do like a couple of pigs. <laughs> Some. Milk, ladies and gentlemen. I've got it and it's yours for a price. Who wants milk? Who wants milk? This is powdered milk. Better than fresh. Really. Straight from America. Well, don't be shy. How about you? Okay, mister. I'll buy some of your milk. Yeah? You got any money on you, little boy? I've got money. See? Well, oh. you've definitely got the cash. Tomoko, I hope you're hungry because we're coming with lots and lots of milk. <laughs> we got the milk, we got the milk, we got the milk. We lots and lots. <laughs> the milk patrol will be rescued. We'll, we'll never go hungry again. <laughs> we'll never, never go, go hungry, hungry again. again. <laughs> Guess what we've got? <laughs> it's milk, can you believe it? We bought it in the market. It's in cans from America. It's better than fresh. Yeah, just look at all of it. Tomoko should be happy. Mission accomplished, Captain. Good work, soldier. Banzai! 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 Company eyes left. Well, come on, say something. Dear boy, too late, too late. I heard this man saying the grass won't grow here again for another 70 years. Do you think that's true? It's hard to believe it's possible. What's gonna happen to us, hmm? Ugh. 
Are you gonna be sad forever, big brother? Don't you see? At least we're still alive. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll get it. I'll get it. Got it. Hey, get over here. Look what I found. Come here. What is it? Look, something's growing. Yeah, it's wheat. The wheat's coming up again. Its life begins in the coldest season of the year. The rain pounds it, the wind blows it, it's crushed beneath people's feet. But still, the wheat spreads its roots and grows. It survives. Learn from it, grow big and strong, and let nothing beat you down. Can you see it, Father? <laughs> the wheat's growing again! Good old wheat. Nothing can kill it, not the fires, rains, or diseases, or nothing! Who said nothing would grow for 70 years? What did he know? Right, Ken? Oh, hey, what's happening to your head? My hair! I can feel it! My hair's growing back again! Hey, maybe Tomoko gave you all her hair after My she hair. died. Do you <clears throat> think? Tomoko? It's gotta be. I know it. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right, little brother. This way I'll always have a part of Tomoko with me! Isn't it great? The wheat's growing, your hair's growing, and even... Hmm. Hmm. Nothing down there. You idiot! <laughs> Don't worry, Father. I'll never give up. I'll grow up big and strong, and you'll be proud of me. You wait and see. You are coming right home after school, Big Brother. Don't forget, okay? Because we're going down to the river, right? That you're making again a boat? Yeah. Okay, Shinji, here's your boat. You ready? We're finally gonna put it in the river like we said. Are you ready, Ryuta? Ready. How about you, Mother? Are you ready? Ready. Yo 
溶けて。